Okay guys, so today I'm going to teach you how you can decompile maps, whether they're official maps, you know, like Inferno, Mirage, or any workshop map for that matter, so you can recompile them again and create versions like, I don't know, a night version or whatever it is, modifications, or even copy some props or settings from those maps. Now, if you're going to do these workshop maps, you need to be very careful, you should have permission from the creator, otherwise that's considered that you're stealing intellectual property. So you should be very mindful of that, that it's very frowned upon and unethical actually to decompile workshop maps and then repost them or whatever without the creator's permission. So with that out of the way, you're going to download SourceTube Viewer um, from the official page. Then you're going to open it up. So here you have the official map, right? Like CS Italy, DAS2, you know, all of those. And at the very bottom, some workshop maps, not all of them. If some workshop maps are missing, you can just right click here, revealing file explorer. And here in this folder, 730 in my case, you have all the workshop maps that are missing here. So you just simply want to drag and drop these BPK files, the largest one, into source to viewer. And in here, you can just edit it. Um, in this case, for example, you don't see like the edit file, right? So you gotta decompile this entire folder. I mean, extract all of this, decompile and export. And then you wanna grab this PPK again and drag it in here after you have extracted it. And that way you'll be able to decompile it. But anyway, let's go with an official map in this case. Let's go with nuke, the nuke.bpk. So you double click it, you're gonna right click, decompile and export. This is gonna take a while. Just click continue. And I'm gonna extract it on a folder on my desktop just for the sake of this tutorial. And this is gonna take a while. Okay, you hit close. Then you're gonna close those two viewer. You're gonna go into Hammer now, Workshop Tools. And before launching Hammer, you wanna create a new add-on. In this case, I'm gonna create one called Edit Nuke. I already have it in here. So you're going to go into your add-ons folder. And in here, you should see the newly created folder. So Edit Nuke. So in here, you should drag and drop these two folders, all of them. Okay, once that is done, you can simply launch this add-on, in my case, edit nuke. So let's initiate hammer, file, open, go into your add-on, and here it is, edit nuke, maps, here's the edit file. Now, when decompiling maps, you need to be very careful not to compile them because they are full of bugs, you know, all sorts of errors you're gonna encounter. The only reason to actually do this is in order to find out some settings or to learn how it was made. Like for example, you can see all these clip, clip brushes in here that are used for optimization. Let me disable those. Or let's say you wanna copy some props. Like for example, you wanna copy, I don't know, all of this. So just copy, create a, let me close it, let me create a new map. And within this map, I'm gonna actually paste, control V, and that's it. So. Um, again, you shouldn't do this with workshop maps. You should be very respectful for people's hard work. Or if you do it, you should have permission from the creator or, um, yeah, permission and also give credit. So like in the description of your map, you should inform people that it was actually created by someone else or in collaboration with somebody else. So the main purpose I see with doing this is so you can learn because it's, it's a great way to actually learn how to do things. And as you know, those refrag servers or uh, YPRAG as we used to have in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, basically, yeah, it's, they decompile the map and then recompile it by placing the bots and all of that. So yeah, um, I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys. And yeah, thank you so very much for watching. Take care.